Hi Cancer, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your February 2023 monthly tarot reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So Cancer, I do want to say welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Also, please give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate that. Also, you can now become a member. All right, this reading is looking at what you have coming up in the month of February, Cancer. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles, first card out. Some of you very focused on work, or if you don't work, could be a project. Wow, two eights. You have the Eight of Pentacles crossed by the Eight of Wands. At your foundation, we have the Seven of Wands. Recent past, we have the Four of Pentacles. Crowning you, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Coming up in the near future, we have the Ace of Wands. Very nice. Okay. Your power, how you're showing up here in the month of February, we have the Three of Cups. How others are viewing you, we have the Two of Pentacles. Hopes and Fears, we have the Three of Pentacles. Outcome, energy at the end of February, going into March, we have the High Priestess. All right, and overall energy, Cancer, for the month, we have the Chariot. So this is your card, you're showing up strong here. Okay, let's see. Being in control, feeling empowered feeling in control definitely guarded but um definitely in control now some of you are going to be doing some traveling here in the month of february so maybe you have to travel for work i could be reading for some cancers where this is you moving up within your career um with the chariot here this is this is a win this is victory but um, it, it wasn't the easiest uh, victory. But this can be uh, things turning in your favor, Cancer. Ooh, look at that. We have the Chariot with the Five of Swords and the Two of Swords. So on the love front, okay, on the love front... This is you definitely um, closed off protecting yourself that's for sure because some of you you are dealing with or you were dealing with somebody who was maybe playing with you we have the five of swords and the two of cups there's the ace of pentacles so if this is a new connection that you're currently dealing with cancer i see you definitely very guarded very very guarded here and it's because maybe you don't trust this person you may feel like they're playing with you playing games it's not the best energy on the love front but um, for those of you where you are moving up within your career or this could this could be you starting a new job this is very favorable definitely very favorable I am even reading for some cancers we are, this is you landing a new job, but it could be, for some of you, it could be online work, but that's definitely not all of you. Yeah, some of you, you had to fight for this. So this is a win with the chariot here as the overall energy. Uh, at your foundation, we have the Seven of Wands. So this is you having to, to fight for this. You know, maybe you work in a very competitive field or environment. The challenge is moving forward. The challenge is communication. But I feel like it will come in. Also, the challenge is you opening up. So if this is not a romantic relationship, this could be 
with anybody really it could be a family member this is a closed off energy and the challenge is communication you have the four of pentacles in the recent past very interesting um this is a closed off energy prior in the recent past with the four of pentacles this is you pulling back not emotionally open again some of you you're dealing with somebody where this person may be played with you uh, others you just don't trust them or you may feel like that's how they feel about you you know they don't trust you but uh, we have the wheel of fortune crowning you so the wheel of fortune is a 10 you have a one here so a cycle is is wrapping up this is a turning point it's also good luck coming in it's a shift and so if you've been waiting if you've been on hold and maybe just trying to kind of stand your ground or hold your position in some way this is this is things looking up definitely the energy is shifting here for for you guys in a big way and you have the ace of wands coming in so this is energy around valentine's day so those of you that are coupled and you know maybe you know you guys just went through something you definitely could be uh, making up with this person others this is a new beginning this is a new beginning new job for some of you new position for others it even could be a new friendship because we have the three of cups here and this is a friendship card yes it can represent reunions but i feel like for some of you this is you making a new friend i am reading for some cancers where you may want more than that you definitely may be very attracted to this person could be going out again this is energy around valentine's day so some of you you could be you could be going out you may be going on a date I am reading for some cancers you're definitely having a good time here at this time so second third week of February this is nice energy you may be emotionally very guarded but you're still participating this is you still going out having fun there could be a very strong attraction here with another person and maybe some of you want this to progress you want to be more than maybe just a friend how others are viewing you we have the two of pentacles and so some of you you're juggling you have a lot going on you know we see you very focused on your job you're you're definitely um working very hard on something at the start of the month so some of you this is you maybe trying to uh, have a social life here at this time you may work multiple jobs or you just got a lot going on your focus is elsewhere and here i think you're trying to be social you're trying to maybe have a little fun here at this time there could be um a new a new business partnership for some of you that's that's developing here at this time you may make a new friend at work for some of you in the hopes and fears we have the three of pentacles so yeah some of you maybe you're meeting someone at work there may be a three-party scenario 
the chariot can sometimes talk about options and how others are viewing you. We have the two of pentacles. So some of you have options. You may be interested in a friend or something like that. Yeah, so maybe maybe you're keeping things light here. You could be exploring your options. Nothing wrong with that. Others, this is you definitely hoping that your hard work does pay off, which I feel like it will. It will. So just, you know, keep doing what you're doing. This is definitely an energy shift, and it's very, very positive. Some of you could be moving into a position that, you know, is meant for you. You were meant to be doing this. So those of you that are landing a new job or um, maybe moving up within the company that you already work for, this could be, it could be something that, you know, you really enjoy doing, but it's meant for you. So listen to your intuition. Energy at the end of the month is the high priestess. So this is not a social energy. It's a quiet energy. So we see you working very hard at the start of the month. We do see you going out. We do see you very social here um, mid-month. But then at the end of the month, we have this quiet energy. Also... Um, you know, this is this is Pisces season here at this time. Something uh, significant definitely could be taking place here at that at that time. But overall, as you can see, the energies are very very positive. Yes, we do have this Five of Swords, so be careful, which you definitely are with the Chariot here. It's a very guarded, protective energy. I'm not going to clarify everything, but we will look at the Seven of Wands at your foundation. Please clarify the Seven of Wands for Cancer, please. Yeah, some of you, you may meet someone at work. Yeah, and this, this may, it may turn into something more for some of you, not all of you. For some of you, it's just a friendship. But um, this is, it, it's a very nice reading. Yeah, look at that. Interesting. So looking at the Seven of Wands, we have the Knight of Cups. Interesting. So maybe you're interested in somebody, a friend, and you may feel like there's um, a lot of competition around this, around this relationship. You could be fighting to get someone's attention. Maybe they're very guarded. But yeah, for others, it's you. You're very guarded, Cancer. Very, very guarded. We have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign Let's just look at the Four of Pentacles in the recent past for Cancer. It's a more conservative energy. And so this is, this is in the recent past. And then we do have the Two of Pentacles. Harmonious change here in this deck, and so this energy is coming up, which is a more adaptable, flexible energy. Yeah, so this is over with, um, this Four of Pentacles, this um, holding back. This is done. Very interesting. I'm getting a number of different things with that. And there's the emperor. Maybe you are dealing with a stubborn character for some of you. That's very strong Taurus there. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. And we just seen that king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. 
but not all of you. Uh, could be any other fixed signs, Aquarius, Leo, um, Scorpio, and then possibly Aries. But let's pull you an overall guidance card for Cancer. What is, what is the guidance? This is definitely a beautiful reading. Very positive. What is the guidance for Cancer in the month of February, please? What is the guidance? Twenty-two, Archangel Gabriel. I invite Archangel Gabriel to bring hope and intuition into my life. So listen to your intuition. For some of you prior, there, there was a problem with that prior. Very closed off. For some of you not listening to your intuition, but this can be divine inspiration here coming in. Some of you definitely may be feeling uh, inspired here in the near future. This is also uh, a very creative energy, Cancer, that's coming in. Could be working with a friend. This could be you getting um, very creative maybe at work or with your business. For some of you, maybe doing some creative writing, definitely getting that. But this is a nice, uh, peaceful energy. All right, let's take a look at uh, your love life. What is the guidance on the love front for Cancer? What is the guidance? Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And if you feel like, you know, you've already did that, um, you're not hung up on the past or an ex, the message here is to cleanse your energy, cleanse your space. Some of you could still be healing. We have separation at the bottom of the deck time apart from your partners on the horizon but for some of you that's because of work i definitely see you um maybe traveling for work here at this time if you are married um this can be you needing to put the past behind you if you're staying um with with your partner all right, let's get you some guidance on the career front for cancer. What is the guidance for the month of February, please? What is the guidance? Some of you, maybe you need a date night. This can be distance between you and your person. I do see, I do see you going out, definitely around Valentine's Day. I do see you going out. I do see you having some fun. All right, what is the guidance on the career front? Unlimited ideas. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. Beautiful. I just mentioned this Ace of Wands here coming up in the near future. I mentioned that this is divine inspiration for some of you. Now, it could be an idea. For some of you, you may wake up and have this amazing idea or something may just occur to you and it's divinely inspired. Yeah, so very nice, very nice. Some of you may start a business with this energy. Let's see, who is Cancer dealing with? With the Wheel of Fortune here, 
whatever you're starting at this time, it's meant for you. It's the right time. And with the High Priestess, you could be keeping this a secret. I definitely recommend that. Play your cards close to your chest, which you are with the Chariot and the High Priestess here. Okay, we have Leo. Leo. And then Earth. All right, Cancer, so I hope that you find this reading helpful. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. You can also now become a member. If you are interested in having a private reading, all of my information is down below. If you are interested, guys, I did just release a couple of new decks. Uh, one is the Positive Self Empowerment Cards. That is an affirmation deck. It's beautiful. Uh, and the other is the black and tan tarot deck. And um, right now, guys, I do have a sale. It's a Valentine's uh, sale going on in my Etsy shop. All of my decks are discounted for a limited time. If you are interested, uh, go check me out on Facebook, Instagram. I'm also on TikTok. All right, guys, wishing you a very blessed month of February. Take care.